Welcome back guys. This morning I want to discuss with you certain types of sections. The first one will be the full section as seen by section line A, A which can be drawn on the given view there. As the arrow shows which side we're looking at the section, we can draw the section directly onto the front view there. When it comes to sections like these, one need to lo locate the holes where it cuts over and then the solid material. Let's look at it. Firstly, we're having solid material being cut over through a hole, solid material from there to there, past the hole, solid material from there to there. Thus, everywhere where it cuts over a hole, the hidden detail will be shown as solid lines in the cut. By cutting over these, you'll see that curvature at the back, but you'll see these as solid lines, one and two. The solid material it cuts over is from there to there. In other words, we will section this part straight across. Okay, there we have it. And then the next is from here to there. There we go indicated there and then lastly we're going over a hole which those two solid lines indicate there and cutting over this last part of solid material there which in turn will give us a section at that point here we go so this brings us to the end of cutting over a full section and then showing it on the available view you can also have a section that can pass through that point. Let's call it section line BB. Here we go with that section line BB. Here we can see that we cannot draw this section on this view or on this view itself. You can never draw a section on the view where the line of section is indicated. So we need to project a new view, an auxiliary view to be able to show it. Whether it's in first angle or third angle. Assuming this is in first angle, we will need to project the view this side to show the section. Let's analyze the section. Here we're cutting over solid material from there to there. We're having a hole and then solid material. Looking at this and at the thickness of this shape here, we can see what the section will look like. I'm just going to concentrate on the actual section. The rest of the drawing is not important. That uh, needs to be done when uh, autographic projection is learned. Okay, so we need to do the auxiliary view, but we're only going to do the section. So what do we need to draw the section? We will need the points where it cuts through the one and two and then the hole. And that is the thickness that the section will have. So I'm going to project this thickness that way and then these points where it cuts through and that will be what the section will look like in the other view okay these are my construction lines and let's do the 45 degrees from there to there to be able to carry over these widths onto that height there okay here we have the height going over from the front view and from the top view, we are taking over these widths. So at this point, we're having solid material. And that's the height at which it's cutting through. So this whole part there will be a solid block, including that one because it's symmetrical. And that will be the hole. So our section will look like this. There you go. This is what our section would look like. Okay, there is a small mistake here. We need it to project 45 degrees from this point where this corner meets at that point there we need to go 45 degrees that's why this width in that width doesn't look more or less the same but this is what the drawing would actually look like okay so the 45 degrees should have been projected through there through there and then obviously it needs to be projected upward but it will look exactly the same the rest of the drawing can just be done in filled in, which will be that height going over. And basically that's it. 
you will have hidden detail there that's the, the our hole on top as well is this part which will be measured in there it will be hidden detail there let's look at another example this is a section line that I've just added Z Z okay to be able to look at the section on this view here this is now a full section it's just it goes zigzag in order to be able to cut through all the holes I'm having a hole there I'm going zigzag there to be able to cut through this hole there and uh, first first things first it's a full section and you can see that this can be produced on this view you can look at the arrows there pointing to the view there if it's in third angle the arrows will point away assuming this is first angle so it's cutting over solid material there going straight across there is your solid material cutting over the hole these lines will become solid I'm gonna go over to free and drawing to be able to work faster due to video time constraints and size constraints so cutting over there we're having 45 degrees in that direction and then we're going further cutting right through up till there which means we're cutting all the way up till here but also going through the holes there there we can see we're having a hole there but if we go straight across we can see there's two of these holes so you've got a hole showing there we go straight across there's two of these holes aligned onto one another so we're cutting right through the center of these holes so this will become solid solid okay we'll be seeing it in that view like that and then over all that solid material that you cut through it will have your sectioning Okay, that's what a section view ZZ would look like. We're not going to worry about that corner that's been cut in there. It is just to be able to reach that hole there. So there we have it. Solid, sectioned, hole, keep it open. Cutting right through all that solid material there and only goes through the hole. So yes, there's your holes and that's your solid material being cut through. We are not touching the stop part there which is this length there you can see if you go straight across you'll find out that we are not touching that height there which is that length okay I've included section line YY on the view here on the left hand side what would it look like on the other side we are cutting here over solid material there if you go straight across you'll find out that's the piece there and there's a hole we're cutting over this hole and that's empty space so these lines will become solid and it will be sectioned there and then going further down cutting through all the solid material up till there will give you remember it's not cutting over these holes so these holes will disappear whenever a section line does not cut over a hole the hole will disappear so this is what we have We did not cut over that portion there we only cut over that piece there and that's what the section would look like in that di direction so be ready for the three types of sections which will where you produce an auxiliary view where you have a section line that you cannot produce on that view or this one you need to produce an auxiliary view to show it then you have your section where you can produce it on the view given uh, like I've taught you and then the last this is where you will have your partial section view it's a piece of the view that's being sectioned however if we include a section line here let's say for instance there and there and let's say we call that XX this will then need to be shown into the top view you cannot show it on this view or on this one you will need to project a new view which is called an auxiliary view in order to show the section thank you very much